Hello, my name is Jessica Tilton Zerduce. I'm a poet in San Antonio, Texas. I've been doing poetry for the past decade and even longer than that when I was younger. I love poetry and I think it's so important for us as a community to continue the legacy of doing poetry, especially in the youth, because it gives us the opportunity to create our own truth by taking elements of truth from the world and mosaic them together and create our own beautiful work of art that we can share with the world. And it's so important. This first poem I'm going to do is called Apology. This is an apology for the generations who will come after me. I'd like to apologize to the generations who will come after me. I'm sorry for the lack of attention this world will bring to the intricate details that compose your individuality. I'm sorry for the lack of prevention for the times you failed so you think it's your fault and that's just reality. I'm sorry for the lack of dimension this world has so instead of being deep to fit, be flat and have a shallow personality. I'm sorry that people will be more interested in your waist size than your mind's eye or your bank prize than your good time and they'll say don't come inside if you're not dressed right. We'll have your clothes stitched real tight and your mind sewn just right before any insight slips inside and I'm sorry if nobody takes the time out of their busy nine to five to remind you that you're beautiful to tell you that you're usable, to ensure you that this, this is doable. And I'm sorry if you're afraid, just like the rest of us. I'm sorry it's so normal to let this world get the best of us, but we keep confusing interaction with the internet and substituting nature for television. To know the truth about religion, you will have to be enlightened. And I'm sorry that's a service that this world is not providing. You're growing up. When hip hop is dead and rock and roll is long gone, so you listen to crap when the radio turns on. And I'm sorry that you'll probably eat more McDonald's than you will vegetables and spend more time at Walmart than you will with your real father. I'm sorry to the sons and all of the daughters who found a simple girl than several ways to complicate her and all the boys who got employed just so they could try to date her. They won't become famous for being a teacher or a doctor and they'll have to be a liar if they want to be a lawyer. Please excuse the limitations in this world made up of borders. I'm sorry that we all live in boxes and pay taxes and we're constantly working towards tomorrow's happinesses. I'm sorry we live in a world being ruled by a piece of paper. But you can't do nothing without that piece of paper, man. And I'm sorry that no one will give you a plan or hold your hand and girls learn to shake their butt before they learn how to stand up for themselves. And men are too concerned about money and wealth to give you any help. So one day you'll probably put your dreams on the shelf and throw your hopes in a closet. But listen to me before you close that door and lock it. You're beautiful. You're funny. You are talented, inspired, and I'm sorry if this poem cannot show you your own fire, but you are the sun, you are the earth, and a miracle happened on the day of your birth.